Hey there, and welcome to another Dave Does video, and today I'm doing a Patreon request. Uh, today's video is Black Sabbath and Symptom of the Universe lyric version, uh, so i.e. a lyric video. Uh, it's a song I have heard, uh, probably haven't really listened to the Black Sabbath original that many of times, I've probably heard it many years ago, 10 years ago, so since I've last heard it. Uh, I'm more familiar with the first time that I came across this song, which would have been on Sepultura doing their cover of it uh i then went at the age of 16 was when i heard that's so we're taking we're going to be going back to like 94 i would guess around that sort of time uh playing in my first ever band when i was first learning to play drums and this was one of the first songs we tried covering uh pretty unsuccessfully mainly for the drum fills but um yeah i, re I do remember it with some fondness so uh, yeah looking forward to checking it out let's go uh check out the black sabbaths I was going to say the Black Sabbath version, the original version of Sims of the Universe. Uh, count it in. 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> it's one of the first kind of core ones of like down, down perform jogging. Was this off of uh, Masters of Reality album, I think? Maybe wrong, but it just makes me think it was Masters of Reality. Drum fill alone is just fucking brutal. I love it. Be trying to transcribe that drum fill is insane. I just fucking went for it, just hit as many drums as I can remember. Take me through the centuries to supersonic years. We eat sounds vocally like ah, but like right on the edge. I mean, this is like the core track for bands like Metallica. They're at that early scene of like chugging. Down with the It's a great transition. Bam, bam. Oh, okay, so we'll sabotage. So, now cool, like the, the early 80s metal. Get it, 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 get This is 
such a cool bar, I like it. So, just out there this next bit. It's just like, <laughs> where did this come from? I mean, I, I, read, I read it's about a jam, I guess, but. Okay, there we go. Black Sabbath and uh, Symptoms of the Universe. Interesting, interesting track. Now, uh, I said it Masters Reality because it was the one that stuck into my head for some reason, but it was a Sabotage, which is the other album I did also mention. Uh, I do actually have Sabotage. I have Paranoid album, uh, Sabbath, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, and 13 are the only albums I actually own of Sabbaths, of Black Sabbath. So I've kind of missed the whole chunk of them. Uh, but it was a style of music I wasn't a huge fan of in my early record collecting days. Um, it's also a band, I mean, we, we've talked about this on the ADK channel, Kirk and Andy and myself, about sometimes when you have a band that's got a huge back catalogue, it feels a little overwhelming to go back and just suddenly start going through it all again. Uh, we took, we used this in reference to Nightwish, we were talking about, so Kirk was like, he never really gave Nightwish a chance because of the fact they've got all these albums and where do you start with different lineups, different, so with the different singers, where, which one should you start on, should you start at the beginning, should you work your way through, should you go from when they became sort of even more bigger and popular, uh, went a little bit more with their, with Floor's vocal style, do you do the Annette era first, do you do the Target era, so that was one of the things we talked about, and this is exactly the same sort of thing when you talk about Sabbath, uh, personally, Personally, you go back to the, I think if you start off anywhere near like the Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Paranoid era, you couldn't go far wrong. Simpsons of the Universe is one of those sort of tracks that if you were to ask a non-metalhead uh, about this song, they wouldn't know it was a Black Sabbath. It wouldn't be one of the ones they would reference. They'd reference Iron Man uh, and of course Paranoid are the two that kind of get thrown up all the time and maybe war pigs as well uh but personally uh this is my favorite one of theirs um i i always thought that structure at the end was very odd but now thinking about it the fact that this is like the forebearer of the thrash metal scene um if you listen to something like uh, metallica's master of puppets it has that kind of chilled midsection and then goes back into the chugging riff and this is kind of a forebearer of that it's it's the fact you've got the chug you've got the you've got a breakdown section you've got a clean guitar section uh and that became a very popular sort of structuralization for the 80s uh thrash metal scene so it makes a lot of sense mixing that in with the motorhead style uh of aggression uh you can kind of see where thrash metal got its big influences from so uh yeah thoroughly enjoyable as far as the lyrical content uh there's com there's messages or mentions of it about being the it's the lyrics about the creations of the universe and the different mythical creatures and uh to be honest looking at the lyrics it's all over the place it's um if they weren't on drugs right in this i have no idea why how they came up with some of this about unicorns and 
seven headed and or whatever else they were going on about <laughs> it was just a little bit out there and then the the bit about at the end when it goes chilled uh, and they're like when the sunshine will go walk in and ride in and you're like this feels like a completely different vibe lyrically like it was written in a completely by a different section much later on um rather than the first part so it was almost like they came together from two separate songs and kind of pushed them together but it worked really well uh, and was furry and but enjoyable to check out so yeah here we go black sabbath and symptom of the universe now if you like this video please do like share and subscribe and i'll see you on another video sometime very soon take care